Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm back. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually filming a video. It's been probably like two weeks and a half. Everything that I had, my a little rent and then the perfume haul, um, they were pre-recorded. So I took like two weeks and a half and I generally feel better. Like this is what I needed. I just needed a break. I'm not quitting. Okay, I realized that I, I, I cannot do that because all of you like message me commented under that video like, thank you so much honestly thank you so much for all of your support um so many of other youtubers actually contacted me and they're like gabby just don't give up it's a phase it happened to all of us obviously if you if you really don't want to do it anymore just don't do it but just take a break and see how you feel after and i'm generally like way better i know it's been just like two weeks and a half but i didn't have a break in like two years i believe two years ago I had like three weeks when I, did a po I didn't post anything. But like for two years, I generally posted at least three videos per week. So yeah, but now I'm back. I'm back. Um, we're going to have a quick video. I don't want to do anything crazy. I'm just going to show with you basically what I've been wearing recently in the house, outside, just what I loved recently. Um, there are some fragrances that are new on the market. There are some fragrances that are pretty well established right now they're not that new anymore but most people love them um and i yeah, just want to share them with you also can you see in the background what i've got i have mini i have mini from house of siage i'm gonna do like a full review uh one of my subscribers actually she was selling her bottle and she emailed me and when i opened the email she was like i'm selling it on ebay i've seen your video about house of siage you said that you really want it but the shipping cost is just like no i'm not paying that for the, for the shipping and i'm selling mine if you're interested i was like thank you so i have it now and she was so so kind she actually sent me some discovery kits as well from house of siage i'm gonna review all of them to you because this baby this baby right here needs its own video it's amazing but let's do not talk about other fragrances let's talk about the ones that i've been wearing i have them with some of them i have them for quite a long time with others maybe i discovered them recently or last year but i'm just in love i'm in love i'm obsessed and yeah they're just amazing so i want to share them with you so before we start if you like this video don't forget the big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in right i've got in here how many uh 10 fragrances obviously i've been wearing other things two of them but two of them actually wore them in the house because right now uh, not just right now for the past month it's been raining snowing it's freezing cold and yes i do like my dark scents i do like my scents that perform better in the um, in this type of weather but i kind of miss you know like my summery spring summer fragrances so i actually wore two scents they're not appropriate for this weather but i wore them in the house because i just wanted something brighter i just wanted something refreshing just not again and again wood and amber and i don't know pink pepper and vanilla and i, I work quite a lot of vanillas to be honest but i'm just a bit tired of all of that you know it's weird because when it's summer i can't wait to wear my dark scents and then when it's winter i just want to wear like freshies am i the only one are you with me like do you have the same thing like like you wish to i know to be able to change the weather so today i can wear i know wood for grayness like very dark polarizing and then the next day i'm wearing something fresh and light i wish i could do that but obviously we cannot anyway um let's start with the video the ones that i told you that i just were doing like in the house uh, i'm not actually like wearing them like spraying them properly because when i wear a fragrance i generally spray like 30 sprays because that's just me okay i have a big collection i need to use them and i want other people to be able to smell me so i just overspray like crazy uh but this one's usually i just spray like my hands my arms so i can like have a whiff of the scent the first one this one is from tomavici and this one is empyrean if you like delina but that one is just too powdery for you that leachy note is maybe too strong i feel like you're gonna absolutely love this one it's the same type of rose as you'd find in the Lina, but this one just has something bright, something fun. And then in the middle, in the dry down, you can smell like a sweet raspberry note. 
it's such an uplifting fragrance it's very uplifting it's very it's bright it's fun it's and this is what i wanted you know like i wore so many like serious fragrances recently and this is what i wanted that raspberry like it comes after 10 15 minutes like it's getting stronger and it's just it's just beautiful it's just beautiful it's not a do for the lino by any means but it has like a similar dna i have lots of fragrances with a similar dna you have obviously the lina the exclusive one i have essential parfa what's the name rose magnetic i have idola from navitus i have the mask from ormond jane and then i have this one but i don't know this one was just something that i really wanted to wear so obviously i was not able to wear it outside because you can wear it you can wear it but it's just not going to perform that well because it's freezing cold it's literally snowing like i didn't see snow in the uk maybe one day but i hate it absolutely hate it but yeah this is not going to perform the best in the snow so that's why i just wore it indoors you know but it's beautiful it's honestly beautiful it's like so bright it's that raspberry is juicy i do really like it i do really like it and it's very uplifting this is one thing that i really enjoy about this fragrance so the first one uh tomavici empyrean and the next one that again i wore just in the house because the weather is not the best from maisa uh jardin de say listen i really really like this brand i know that they send me like lots of fragrances but i generally tested every single fragrance that they have and they just asked for the ones that i truly truly loved and this is one of them i cannot wait for spring and summer to be here so I, so I can wear this one listen it's yes it's a fruity floral but it has a creaminess and then the fruity notes like the fruits in this fragrance feel like gummy bears like a sweet not overly sweet doesn't have that like i know annoying you know very very sweet fruity floral dna that some designers might have but the price is like this is a designer price and i have a coupon code as well how much is for the 50 ml i think it's 99 or less than that and but then i have a coupon code it's it's gonna be like very similar to like designer prices it's so good it's honestly so good it's like creamy gummy bears not like a literal gourmand it's again it's like fun and uplifting and this is what i need honestly this is what i need i need like fun fragrances not serious not too i don't know dark scents i don't want that so that's why i want this one doing that like just in the house but i can't wait to wear it outside it's like a bit almost delicious but it's obviously not like i said it's not a gourmand it's definitely not a gourmand yeah creamy gummy bears this is what i'm getting with this perfume i really really like it um obviously if you wear if you live in um in a country where it's not cold it's warm outside uh it's actually sunny outside you're gonna absolutely enjoy this one you're absolutely gonna love this one uh so maisa jardi de say now let's move on to the ones that actually work outside yeah this one i did a bit of both inside and outside vanilla from kiali listen i wore accident la vanille from Jusette so much and i was like I need to stop wearing this one i do have other vanillas and i just remember that i have this one literally didn't wear this one like two years and i do really like it like it's it's a beautiful vanilla for the price it's not the most affordable fragrance but it's not an overpriced fragrance in my opinion justifies it, its price okay it's a brown sugar vanilla nothing more and nothing less this one is gonna layer amazing with other fragrances it's just a beautiful vanilla scent brown sugar vanilla you can't go wrong with that if you're looking for a good vanilla but you don't want to spend i know i, I told you you said accidental vanilla is still my favorite like that one it's whoa but if you don't want to spend the money on just a vanilla scent and you want just a vanilla scent try this one because they have obviously the 10 ml the 50 ml the 100 ml i usually with kiali i go with the 10 ml because i want to try them and all of them are a blind buy for me i put so i they have so many perfumes i don't really need a big bottle but yeah it's it's plain it's simple but it does the job you know does the job vanilla um vanilla 28 from kiali and another vanilla that's way more expensive i just love it 
Spiritus WN from Gerla. This is the old bottle. I got this one on sale. I feel like they were trying to get rid, obviously, of the old bottles because now they have the new, the new ones. Uh, they are bigger and way more expensive. Um, and this one was actually on sale, so I got it for like a good, good, good price. I don't know if they reformulated the new um, Spiritus WN in the new bottle. I really don't know. I've only smelled this one before, uh, but yeah. This is, it's beautiful, okay? It's beautiful. Again, it's a vanilla scent. I'm getting something a bit boozy. And then I, I know it has some incense in it. And I know some people were saying, look, I didn't like it because the incense was too strong on my skin. I can barely smell any incense. I mean, I can I can smell it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm lying. I can smell it, but it's just in the background. It's just in the, but the whole composition is just delicious but also extremely elegant and extremely feminine with sex in the same time is like the best of like not both words all of the words it's it's elegant 100 percent, but it's gourmand but it's sexy as well it's it's beautiful it's honestly beautiful like one of the best vanillas i said accidental vanilla is my favorite but that one is like true pure gourmand this one is more than that it's a bit more elevated it's a bit it's a bit more grown up vanilla uh, without smelling old like no that's not old nothing like that uh, but it's a bit more like put together grown up vanilla love it absolutely love it you can see like the dent that i've made already uh, and this is absolutely like very very expensive right now especially in the new bottle but i don't care because i absolutely love it so yeah i'm, I'm using my bottles honestly if i have something that is like extremely extremely uh pricey i don't care I'm, I'm using it because maybe in two years i'm not gonna like it anymore it happened with other fragrances and then i'm like ah i didn't enjoy it when i absolutely loved it and now i'm just gonna declutter it um or the juice just goes bad so um, yeah i'm I'm using them. I'm spraying them a lot because I love them. Uh, Spiritus WN from Gerla. Now, obviously Christmas happened and everyone was wearing their Christmas scents and I was still in that mood for like two weeks after Christmas and I actually have two fragrances that generally like for Christmas time. They're amazing but you can wear them like in the winter in general. I have from Viva More Reserve Exclusive. Listen, when I got this fragrance and when I re reviewed this fragrance, I really liked it. But now I'm just obsessed. This one is gingerbread and whiskey and sugar. It has other notes. It has rose. It, ha it has other notes. But this is what I'm getting. Like this sugary, very boozy gingerbread. But it doesn't feel like, like the biscuits. It feels more like a cake. And I, can't, I, I don't know how to explain it. It feels more like the syrup. Like you make a gingerbread cake and then you like have a syrup on top. I don't know how to explain it because I have panettone that literally smells like panettone. And you're feeling like, oh, this smells similar. No, that one is cinnamon. That one is orange. has those like, mm, like dried oranges. This one is not that. This one is like a boozy, boozy, sweet definitely sweet gingerbread it's delicious it's amazing you need to like I, I, normally when it comes to actual gingerbread i'm not the biggest fan like i'm like ah, it's all right but in this fragrance it's just amazing it's it's delicious it's delicious and i don't have again the notes might sound maybe a bit similar to panettone that one is very bready it literally has that like panettone quality that bread quality this one is not that it's it's such 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 a beautiful fragrance absolutely love this one um yeah and this one was actually created by francis cordijan and jerome di marino like two very very good well-known perfumers um it's good it's like good good it's a different gourmand for me and i love it so yeah viva more reserve exclusive and another one that has a little bit of like a christmasy vibe but just a little bit dulce diablo from narcotica stunning stunning yes it's chocolate but the chocolate for me is not just like a chocolate fragrance no no no. you have chocolate you have cognac you have rum if i'm not wrong and then what it gets me are the dried apricots 
it has dried apricots it has apricot as well but dried apricots and i can 100 percent smell that you know with dried fruits i kind of like them and i kind of hate them like i would never buy them but if they're there i'm gonna eat them but like i'm not the like, biggest fan of the taste but i still like it so i'm just gonna eat them but the smell the smell it's amazing presentation it's 10 out of 10 again this for me like if you're looking just for a chocolate fragrance obviously we have my chocolate queen in here and um, it's out of stock it's gonna be back in stock very very soon but this is not just a chocolate 100 this one is definitely boozy has that like dried apricot but it's amazing it's stunning get yourself a sample uh, i actually have a coupon code for this as well not sponsored nothing like that i paid for this one i bought this one and then uh they saw door prestige they saw that i bought this fragrance from them and they were like do you want a coupon code for your subscribers i was like oh, yeah why not because i use actually use a coupon code from sebastian the perfume guy so if i can give you something guys i'm gonna give it to you but i purchased this one i bought this one and i'm in love I mean, love, it's, it's stunning. It's amazing. You need to get a sample, okay? You need to get a sample because it's not just chocolate. It's boozy. It, it's something else, but it's amazing. Narcotica Dulce Diablo. And how many do we have left? Ooh. I know. Everyone hates this one. I mean, they don't hate it. They hate the price. I hate the price as well, but I like it. I like it. It's like dry. I know. Like dark cherries with something like like dry woods and then some leather in there. But like the cherries are like very, very, very dark. It doesn't smell like cherry punk, okay? Because I wore this one a lot as well. This is my next fragrance. But it's good. I still didn't try electric cherry, all right? Like I have no idea how that one smells, but the reviews, like, I'm not that interested anymore, to be honest this one is good do not blind by this one get yourself a sample go to the store test it it's available in stores if you're from um usa buy it from the selfages website because i know it's cheaper and even with shipping it's still gonna be cheaper um comparing to uh, sephora or the Tom Ford website buy it from selfages but first test it but it's good like i really really like it so yeah i'm guilty guilty i know i'm sharing with you like something very expensive but i like it what can i do and i wear it like usually with new releases oh no when oh, no, i'm buying a fragrance you know like i wear it the first time because i'm like all excited and then i just like forget about it and then i go to like the next one for this one i wore like probably four times already which is a lot listen that's a lot because i like to change my fragrances like every single day i want something different and not just in terms of a different fragrance like completely different if today i'm wearing florals tomorrow i'm wearing spices the next day i'm wearing something like more like a molecule fragrance i like to do that but with this one i just love it and obviously tom ford um cherry smoke and the next one cherry punk from room 1015 look at the dent and it's a strong fragrance like it's a strong proper strong fragrance this one has a leather note okay it's like boozy bright sweet cherry and then like a smooth sexy leather oh, this one yeah is dark it's sensual this one is sexy this one is sexy and if you were actually looking for like a cherry and leather fragrance 100 percent you should go and test this one it's way 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 more affordable than tom ford they don't smell the same again but this if this is what you're looking for a cherry and leather fragrance go and check this one out i hope i'm not sure if my coupon code is still working but i'm gonna leave everything you know everything's gonna be in the description box if i have a coupon code i'm gonna leave it there i love it i absolutely love it you can say you can tell that i love it it's amazing everyone is raving about this one not just youtubers just people in the comments that uh, purchase this fragrance because it's just that good it's actually that good don't be scared of the leather note it's just amazing cherry punk room 1015 and i'll have two more oh one that i actually shared with you on my instagram jardin de misfa from unui nomad this is 100 my favorite unui nomad this is If you love 
a good rose perfume, a jammy rose, you are gonna be obsessed with this one. Honestly, when I got the first time when I got their discovery kit, I tested a few of them, maybe like four, five, and I wasn't like crazy about them. I was like, this is not for me, this is not for me. And then I sprayed this, and I was like, oh, that is stunning and are very well priced you can actually get them if you don't want like the box you're getting them cheaper you can get like 50 ml you can get like the 100 ml has magnetic cup love that this is like rose like sweet jammy rose but it still has something airy and then you're getting this like super sweet dates it feels like honey dates i love it i know it has jasmine i know it has other notes but this is what i'm mainly getting rose and dates very very thick sweet dates love it love it for me it doesn't really have spices doesn't have anything like dark it's just like bright but very sweet and you need to like roses okay you need to like roses to enjoy this perfume but i just love it and it's beast mode on my skin and it's yeah and this one is that was actually created by jerome di marino the one that created this one as well so i do like his work it's amazing. It's just amazing. Uh, yeah. Uni Nomad, Jardi de Misfah. And the last one, side effect from Initio. You know, I love Initio. Like, probably my top brands right now are going to be Initio, BDK, for sure, Navitus, obviously. Uh, not because, like, I created a fragrance with them, but, like, I genuinely love their fragrances. Stefan Humble Lucas, do you want me to do a video with like my favorite houses? I can do that if you want. Uh, what else do I love? Mikalev, I do really, really like Mikalev. But yeah, like I have lots of fragrances. I have like nine or ten initial and I bought all of them. And side effect is this like unisex, like tobacco. And like i don't know rum whiskey whatever like something boozy as well but it's like creamy in the same time it smells like a club where like people are like smoking cigarettes and then they have like leather couches and everyone is drinking whiskey and cognac and just the whole atmosphere is like dark maybe they're playing like jazz music like that's the picture that I'm getting with this fragrance is perfectly unisex it's not that sweet but it has definitely has a sweetness but I just love it like it's it's sexy it's especially this on a guy hmm. this on a guy is gonna be amazing but yeah it just just gives you that you know I love it absolutely love it and I wore it I completely forgot I had this one to be honest I've been um wearing from initial actually like atomic rose and the new paragon and uh, the wood for greatness and wood for happiness and i completely forgot about this one and then when i remember that i have this one i just wear it again like a lot a lot so yeah the last scent that i wear quite often recently um initial side effect and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below what are the fragrances that you've been wearing a lot okay um again let me know what other videos you want to see from me um i can do like favorite perfume houses if you want designers niche another like more hidden gems if you want another haul let me know in the comments down below uh, perfumes i don't like let me know what video you want next from me um yeah that was it for today thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye